As we all eagerly await the next Starship launch, SpaceX is already making history with its other rockets. Recently, they broke a long-standing record with the Falcon 9 rocket, shocking the whole world. In this video, we are going to talk about this in detail. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. If you go back 10 years and tell someone that SpaceX would one day compete with giants like NASA, they would laugh at you because SpaceX was just a small company at the time. But in a short amount of time, they progressed into becoming the most dominant space company in the world. They are not just competing with NASA. They are breaking the records NASA set through their decades of launch experience. SpaceX has recently set a huge milestone, with its Falcon family of rockets exceeding the total number of space shuttle missions from the historic Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The combination of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rocket launches has now surpassed the total number of shuttle flights from that pad, with the milestone reached during the recent Starlink mission, marking 83 orbital launches from SpaceX's Kennedy Space Center. This is one more than the 82 shuttle launches that took place over the 30-year history of the Space Shuttle program. The SpaceX flights comprise 74 Falcon 9 launches and 9 Falcon Heavy launches. The first stage booster supporting this mission, tail number B-1083 in the SpaceX fleet, had its third launch, having previously launched the Crew-8 mission to the International Space Station mission. A little more than eight minutes after liftoff, the booster touched down on the SpaceX drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, marking the 68th booster landing for SpaceX. This mission added another 23 Starlink satellites to the growing constellation. Prior to this launch, SpaceX had sent up 702 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit in 2024 over the course of 31 launches. According to Expert Orbital Tracker, there are currently 5,935 Starlink satellites in orbit out of a total of 6,350 that have been launched to date. Roughly half a day after this record-breaking Starlink mission launch, SpaceX aimed to add another 20 satellites to low Earth orbit with Starlink mission, lifting off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. It's ironic how we are comparing a rocket that's barely 10 years old with one of the most iconic rockets ever. The Space Shuttle was a partially reusable low-Earth orbital spacecraft system. The first of four orbital test flights occurred in 1981, leading to operational flights beginning in 1982. In total, the Space Shuttle program flew 135 missions from 1981 to 2011. The shuttle missions were very important in building the International Space Station and deploying numerous satellites. The Space Shuttle program ended on July 21, 2011, with the landing of Atlantis. The retirement was due to various factors, including high operating costs, safety concerns following the Challenger and Columbia disasters, and the need for a new generation of spacecraft. This retirement marked the end of an era, leaving NASA without a domestic capability to transport astronauts to space. Without the shuttle, the United States had no means of transporting astronauts to the International Space Station and had to rely on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. This dependency on Russia was costly and politically undesirable. To address this gap, NASA initiated the Commercial Crew Program, which aimed to stimulate the development of privately operated crew vehicles to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. SpaceX was one of the companies selected for this program. The company developed the Falcon 1, a small orbital rocket, which paved the way for the development of the larger, more powerful Falcon 9. The first Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched on June 4, 2010. The Falcon 9 is the first orbital class rocket capable of reflight. By reusing the first stage, SpaceX significantly reduced the cost of space access. NASA's commercial crew program not only invested in SpaceX but also in other American companies to develop new spacecraft. Besides SpaceX, the major players included Boeing, Blue Origin, and Sierra Nevada's Dream Chaser. The goal was to create multiple avenues to access space and ensure competition. SpaceX quickly became the frontrunner in this race. With significant NASA investment, SpaceX developed the Dragon spacecraft to transport cargo and crew to the International Space Station. 
The first successful cargo mission occurred in 2012, and the first crewed mission, Demo-2, launched on May 30, 2020. This mission was a historic milestone, marking the first time astronauts were launched into orbit from American soil since the retirement of the space shuttle. While SpaceX was making rapid progress, Boeing faced significant challenges. Boeing's Starliner was developed under the same commercial crew program. Despite receiving more investment than SpaceX, Boeing struggled to get Starliner operational. NASA awarded Boeing $4.2 billion for the development of Starliner, compared to $2.6 billion for SpaceX's Dragon. Despite this, Boeing has faced numerous setbacks. The first uncrewed test flight, Orbital Flight Test, launched in December 2019 but failed to reach the International Space Station due to software issues. The spacecraft entered the wrong orbit and had to return to Earth earlier than planned. The second uncrewed test flight was delayed multiple times due to various technical issues, including valve problems in the propulsion system. These delays have significantly impacted Boeing's schedule and credibility. As of now, Boeing has yet to launch a crewed mission, while SpaceX has already completed multiple successful crewed missions. Blue Origin, on the other hand, has been developing the new Shepard suborbital rocket and the new Glenn orbital rocket. While New Shepard has seen success in suborbital flights, New Glenn's development has been slower than expected and it has not yet flown. The last one is Dream Chaser. It is a reusable spacecraft designed to transport cargo to the International Space Station and return to Earth with a runway landing. The space plane can carry up to 5,500 kilograms of cargo. Although Dream Chaser has made significant progress, it has not yet flown operational missions to the International Space Station. The first operational mission of Dream Chaser, using the vehicle named Tenacity, is scheduled for the second half of 2024. This mission will include delivering cargo to the International Space Station and returning to a runway landing, likely at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Dream Chaser's unique lifting body design ensures a smoother re-entry and landing similar to the space shuttle but on a smaller scale, enabling it to land at various runways worldwide. Meanwhile, SpaceX is also preparing to launch Starship for the fourth time. The next Starship test flight is targeted for June 5, 2024. This flight will focus on demonstrating the ability to return and reuse both the Super Heavy booster and the Starship vehicle. The primary objectives include a landing burn and a soft splashdown of the booster in the Gulf of Mexico, along with a controlled entry of Starship into the Indian Ocean. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.